tonight on Identity. Yeah! One daring contestant will push his luck to the breaking point. I am a psychopath. How you feeling? Sick to my stomach. As he attempts to identify 12 total strangers. White House intern. Hey, old Mike Tyson. Music, video, dancer. You are my mail order bride. He does look like a pickpocket. And walk away with $500,000. This is a coin toss, and you're risking a quarter of a million dollars. Right? Yes! This is the identity game you don't want to miss. Book is on your side, my friend. And it starts now. This is unbelievable. Is that your identity? Hello, welcome to Identity. Ever since I was in high school, I've had a pretty good eye for people. I consider myself a student of life, which is another way of saying I sucked at geometry. <laughs> Tonight, there'll be no written exams. The only thing we'll be testing is the powers of observation. And the first player to test their observations is Christian Saulnier from Norwood, Massachusetts. Thank you, man. What do you do? I work for a mortgage company. And you, you got to get a good eye for people? I'd like to think you know, so. And all you got to do is match uh, 12 strangers, 12 identities, and uh, you're done. Seems pretty simple. OK. Let's meet the strangers. <laughs> Those are your 12 strangers. And now it's time to reveal the identities. Oh, okay. Goodness gracious. As you can see, there's everything from someone who knocked out Mike Tyson to someone who dated Flavor Flav. Yeah. From a pickpocket to someone who lived in a biosphere. From a competitive eater to a White House intern. <laughs> now take a moment to examine all 12 of these strangers. Okay. Just look at them, suck it in. Really look carefully. What yeah. you're trying to find are characteristics that are unique to each person. Absolutely. I guarantee if you pay close enough attention to every detail, there is a way to figure all 12 of them out. Remember, each identity belongs to one and only one okay. of the strangers. Absolutely. Looks great. And if you can match all of these strangers to their identities, you will win enough money to take the whole audience out to dinner. You're all welcome. You're all welcome. Let's play Identity! <laughs> now, while you're just kind of perusing the board, we're going to give you a chance to find out a little bit about three of the strangers. I'm going to ask about number six. My name is Apollo, and I like to people watch. Number three. My name is James, and I'm currently restoring an old Corvette. Number 12, let's learn about you. My name is Jerry. My favorite movie is Out of Africa. Starts out simple. First identity is worth $1,000. Great. Which one do you want to solve first? Go with okay, the that's all right here. We got a good looking group here. Absolutely, yeah. We'll applaud that. Right, right when I said that, number seven smiled at me. That's my favorite number, so. I'm looking at you, number seven. But I'm gonna go with something I think is pretty easy. I'm a boxing fan, a sports fan, okay? Uh -huh. Let's go for $1,000, which is a lot of money, absolutely. I'm gonna go with KO'd Mike Tyson. <laughs> Knocking on Mike Tyson, not too many people have done that. And uh, I'm gonna lock in that identity as the biggest man on the stage and one of the baddest. I'm gonna go number nine for KO'd Mike Tyson. That one. Number nine, uh, sir. Christian here looked at you, thought that you'd be the guy that might have knocked out Mike Tyson. Is that your identity? KO, baby. I knocked out Mike Tyson. Yeah! Buster Douglas, of course, Absolutely. the first man to knock out yes. Mike Tyson. Yes, right, you get a thousand dollars. Coming up next is five thousand. Eleven strangers, eleven identities left. <laughs> Which identity do you want to solve next? What's okay. the next? Excellent. Easiest? Which one of you dated Flavor Flav? Wow, that's saying a lot. What are you looking for? Well, it's tough. I'm looking for someone who would date Flavor Flav. First of all, <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
number four. Looks like she could have dated Flavor Flav. Number seven, looks like she's pretty good. Number two, I'd like to date. Uh, <laughs> you know. And number 10 up there too, I date you too. Don't, don't think I don't see you up top there. So let's think here. I'm narrowing it down to two here. We got number four and number seven, okay? Number four thinks, looks like she can handle Flavor Flav. Mm -hmm. I'm eyeballing you number four, okay? You know, got the hoop earrings. Uh, looks like she's got some city style to her. She's got the hair going. She's got the strut and she's got the attitude. I'm gonna go on a whim here. I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna lock in number four as dated Flavor Flav. Yeah. Okay. Number four. Number four, dated Flavor Flav, you're saying? Yes. Right, number right, four. Right. Kristen says that uh, your identity is having dated Flavor Flav for $5,000. Is that your identity? I'll take the rap, because I dated Flavor Flav. Yeah! You know, uh, Christian, you got five thousand dollars. You're going for ten thousand dollars. But the, the, the further you go, the tougher it gets. We have a few helps. You've got a mistaken identity. You can make one mistake, stay in the game. That's You've also got the try identity, which means if you get an identity, you can narrow it down. Just tell us which identity. We'll narrow it down to three possible strangers. Okay. And then you've got uh, ask the experts for their opinion. Tonight we've got a body language expert. Okay. We've got a psychotherapist. And we have a former FBI agent. Excellent. So you can ask them whenever you want about any identity. Ten strangers left, ten identities left. What do you want to solve next, man? Yes, all right. All right. What's the next easiest? Okay. I broke the ice. I feel good. My confidence is building. And like I said from the beginning, I'm going to go music, video, dance. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, I am. And who are you considering yeah. for that? I'm considering number seven, number one. And I didn't want to go with this now because. She is so good looking, I wanted to keep her around for a while, and I didn't want to send her away. Anybody else who could be a music video dancer? Uh, number one could be if it was like a Weird Al Yankovic video. <laughs> uh, okay. And number 11 doesn't look like he has the moves either, okay? But number 10 has got legs that don't quit, but I think number seven's got that style that I would look for in a music video dancer. No knocking you off it. All right, I'm going with the beautiful, lovely, and sexy number seven. That's my music video dancer. Number seven. Number seven. Christian looked at you, thought you were a music video dancer. You know, Christian. Are you not right, ready? I got, I got that out. I got that out. You're not ready for me to ask? I, I wonder. Because I'm not. I'm going to take a break. This is oh, a really good place to dance all you want, man. Who are you dancing for?